How's it going everyone? This is Brian and welcome to another video. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial to show you how you can go ahead and connect your MIDI controller to your iPhone or iPad. So let's go ahead and get right into it and show you how you can get this done. The first thing that you're going to need is going to be a adapter. So this adapter here is what's going to allow you to connect your wired MIDI controller to your iPhone or iPad. So this, uh, I went ahead and I got this adapter off of Amazon. I'll go ahead and I'll link it in the description of this video. There is an Apple version. This is just like the off-brand version. I think it was like $12 or something like that. But what this does is it allows you to connect to your lightning port on your iPhone or iPad, and it will let you connect your USB MIDI device directly to your iPhone or iPad. The one that I got also lets you charge at the same time while you're using um, the device. So this is good so that you don't run out of battery life on your iPhone or iPad. So I recommend getting one that has both. You can get the official Apple one, um, but I've been using this one and it works just as well. If you have a newer iPhone or iPad that has USB-C, just get one that's USB-C to USB-A. And I would recommend having an extra USB-C uh, um, also on the adapter. All right, guys, now that we have the adapter, let's go ahead and plug it into our phone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. And I'm going to take the USB-A and I'm going to plug it into that. Did you see that the lights actually went ahead and lit up on my MIDI controller? So that shows us that it's getting the signal. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is it should just straight work out of the, without going into any settings. So now you can go into, you know, GarageBand, which I already have one set up here. And you can go ahead and pick an instrument. So like for Alchemy, for example, um, this works right away. So as you guys can hear, even the pitch band and the mod wheel work as well. So that's pretty cool, but you can also use it for your drums. So for example, um, if I just pick some acoustic drums here, You can change your octaves to just go throughout the whole keyboard. Um, the one that I have also has some, some pads, so those are working as well. So it's pretty cool. Now you can come up with some cool beats. And you know, sometimes it's just nice to play the actual drums, makes it feel like you're or playing on a MIDI keyboard, makes it feel like you're playing on like an actual drum pad or something like that. So um, that's pretty much it. This, this is it for the tutorial. If you liked it, if you thought it was useful, please go ahead and um, consider subscribing for future tutorials and let me know what tutorials you would like to see in the future so I can go ahead and get those out for you guys. Um, thank you so much and have a great day.